हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट differences between classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia and non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia presents at birth whereas non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia presents at puberty classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia has very severe variety whereas non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia has a wide mild variety classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia has very high androgen levels whereas non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia has mildly elevated androgen levels classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia here the features of virilization are present whereas in non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia features of virilization are absent classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia here external genitalia is ambiguous non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia here normal female external genitalia are present for either classical or non classical congenital adrenal hyperplasia The screen the screening test is seventeen hydroxy progesterone. If seventeen hydroxy progesterone is found to be less than two hundred nanogram per deciliter, then you should rule out congenital adrenal hyperplasia. If screening test of seventeen hydroxy progesterone is found to be between two hundred to eight hundred nanogram per deciliter, then it is adrenocorticotropic stimulation test. Then you should do. adrenocorticotropic stimulation test this adrenocorticotropic stimulation test is the confirmatory test for congenital adrenal hyperplasia if 17 hydroxy progesterone levels are more than 800 nanogram per deciliter then it confirms the diagnosis of congenital adrenal hyperplasia thank you and thank you for watching